Hello everyone, welcome back to another Technology Moment. This is Alan and we wanted to share with you today the fantastic experience that we had with yet another docking station of which we have tested many this past year and we have just found them to be a must for every heavy user needing to have access to multiple screens at any given moment. Don't miss everything that we have to share with you about these devices. You'll get in the box the massive power adapter, which you might want to place under the table. It is the only thing that I would improve in these adapters using more compact GAN adapters. Also the Type-C cable, which is very important to be high quality as a lot of data is gonna converge into it. User's guide, which is very important for you to read as it explains what I'm about to show you. Here, before we start, a very important consideration if you have never used a docking station before. If you own a very recent computer featuring, for example, DP alternate mode, you'll be able to give good use to all video ports. It'll be transparent to users. Let me show you the four coolest features that you can have with these docking stations, or as I like to call them, expansion stations. You'll just have to connect it to the power supply. Make sure that it is connected to the fastest Type-C port of your computer or laptop. Let's remember that this is not just for laptops. And if necessary, install the drivers. Okay, so the first great aspect to mention, uh, if you have a fairly old computer, and let me show you, for example, this Dell laptop with a sixth generation Core i3 CPU, you can make it work with multiple monitors too. I just, for example, use this USB Type-C converter to USB-A, and that is what is so cool about these docking stations, as these first two ports are driver-based which means that the display link driver, once installed, by the way, the system installed it by itself, will let you add a couple monitors to your system. That, added to the onboard HDMI port this computer has, did let me have four screens in this old system. That was just terrific. Such fairly old computers with many screens. I did not even have to install the drivers. In 4K, of course, it was too much for this older PC, but fantastic in Full HD, even for entertainment. And second of four great aspects worth mentioning, if your computer is somewhat recent, it'll come with a Type-C port featuring DisplayPort alternate mode, which is nothing more than using such port to encapsulate DisplayPort capabilities through it. Sometimes they are properly labeled, but most likely they will not even say which Type-C version they are, as in this Lenovo laptop 2024. A piece of advice, when choosing your brand new laptop, having a Type-C charger may be a very good way to start filtering. If you are a MacBook user, no worries, as Thunderbolt is inherent to such video technology. And this docking station is Thunderbolt V4, V3, and full-featured Type-C port compatible. Something that we noticed is that rotation is only available in ports 3 and 4. So if you, like me, use vertical screens, you may have to choose a different port for such screens. We also liked in this docking station that ports are better labeled, this comparing it to older models, and this may be very important for many users. Also, the availability of this new Type-C port makes it better, at least for users that, like me, use many Type-C peripherals. I constantly use multiple screens to monitor cameras, access simultaneously several spreadsheets or documents, having a reference documents by my side, edit videos, monitor stock market, sometimes just for fun, and having quick visual access to my media. As you may have seen already, these docking stations may also be built for you. I just cannot recall the last time I used a computer with a single screen, as once you use it, you'll never go back to a single monitor setup, becoming more and more productive. Okay, third aspect that I just love about these docking stations is not only how many devices you can connect to it, I use many, as well as having gigabit ethernet wired access, which many computers do not include in their motherboards. Let's remember that nothing beats a wired connection. And also, being able to charge your computer while many things are connected to it, it's just awesome. All this using the same single Type-C cable included. Really, there isn't much more to say about this other than my experience connecting external readers, huge USB hard drives, Ethernet access, as I said, is unmatched. And performance of the ports was also amazing. Fourth and final aspect that I just found incredible. I couldn't finish this video without talking about Samsung DeX, uh, which, by the way, if you're a very lucky Samsung mobile device owner, you may have already used. And this docking station transformed my mobile device into a full-blown desktop PC and had access 
to all the peripherals that I connected to it. By the way, this functionality with docking stations was one of the reasons I went back to Android and particularly my S24 Ultra. Ok guys, I really hope that this video was as informative as it was intended. As always, the idea with our videos is to share the experience that we had with these tech devices so you can make an informed decision. See you next time.